For all of your sports in Lorraine, keep your TV tuned to TV20, Lorraine City Schools Television. Welcome to WLCS Lorraine City Schools TV 20. I'm Cheryl Bansick, your announcer, and I'm bringing you some great volleyball action tonight. We're at Admiral King High School where the Lady Admirals of King are taking on the Lady Bearcats of Bedford High School. Um, with me tonight is our producer, as always, Joe Bach, being assisted by Terry Trout and the interactive multimedia class of Lorraine Admiral King. We've got a new look this year. We're down on the floor. We've got roaming cameras, a whole interactive approach, and uh, we will have credits at the end that um, show you who our students are that are assisting us tonight. We're going to be back in a few minutes with volleyball action. As I said, the Lady Admirals are taking on the Lady Bearcats. Jimmy, Jimmy dear, don't forget my dress for the fashion show. We want lot to look my best now. Jenny, Jenny, we started our book report. Here's the cover. Yeah, now all we need is a beginning, a middle, and an end. Jenny, 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 Jenny dear. Hi, honey. Are you feeling blue? What's wrong with being blue? Well, where should I start? <laughs> if you're a teen dealing with stress, there's help. Visit the Will Rogers Institute website for a free booklet about teen stress and how you can de-stress your life. Right. Welcome back to Lorraine Admiral King High School. We're just about ready to get started with uh, the, our first volleyball broadcast of the uh, 2009 season. Lady Admirals taking on, from Admiral King, taking on Bedford B Lady Bearcats. Um, head coach for the Admirals her first year, Lynn Rossitano, and she is assisted by Mark Kamalovic. The Lady Admirals come in with an impressive three and four record under Lynn's tenure. Um, the Lady Bearcats are coached by Eleni Marin and Heather Schramm. Um, Lady Admirals are 1-0 and oh in league play. That's in the Lake Erie League um, in the Erie Division uh, with one win over Shaw. That was visiting Shaw. So we're getting ready to play the best of five sets for tonight's match. So we could either go three sets, four sets, or five sets. Let's see what our Lady Admirals bring to the court tonight. The Lady Admirals and Lady Bearcats do the customary handshake at the net before starting the match. I see we have Lynn Zente on the up, up stand as the up official tonight. Lynn, a former Admiral King teacher and a recent Lorraine Sports Hall of Famer. Starting for Admiral King, we have Jade Blair. She's senior setter. Um, she'll start in the right back position, serving as well. Anna Britvek will be right front. Following up across the um, front line is Deidre Noble. Uh, she'll be the middle hitter. Tiara Thompson is to her left. Aza Chisholm in the back on defense, and Jasmine Myrick, center back on defense. So pregame, Admiral King won the toss. They chose to play defense and chose to receive. Three options, receive, serve, or choose a side. And Admiral King chooses the defensive option. So Bedford will serve. Serving is number 31 for Bedford, Natalie Waple. Rounding out the lineup for Bedford, Marche Johnson, Natasha Rembrandt, Lisa Penn, Brianna Gaines, and Pauline Grogan. Serves good for Bedford, and we have a bad pass. And so that'll give Bedford one, starting out the match 1-0 Bedford. Admiral King needs to get reset here, and they do. Passes to the libero, Alyssa Montgomery. Back row attack goes deep to Bedford's side. Bedford with a little bit of issues. They'll send it back as a free ball. Asia Chisholm to the middle, right to Tierra Thompson. She's going to the hitter, middle hitter. That's a Deidre Noble kill. Probably not one of Deidre's best hits, but she puts it down and scores. Deidre is currently leading the league in, in blocking and hitting. And she's one of the better blockers or hitters in Lorain County as well. Deidre stands about six feet tall, which doesn't hurt. Jade Blair on the serve for King as they get side out. Balls off the ceiling, that'll give King a point. 2-1 Admiral King. So Admiral's back up on top 2-1, or on top for the first time tonight actually. Jade will serve again. Ball goes right over, punched back by Tierra Thompson and bad receive will be point Admiral King. Admiral's up 3-1. If you're just joining us, this is the first of the best of five. This is set one. This is senior Jade Blair on the serve. Ball's tight on the net, sent right over. Blair gets into setting position. She goes to the outside. 
Bedford gets a little touch on the hit there, there but they overpass and Thompson puts it down. Admiral King four, Bedford one. Jade's on a little roll back here. She'll serve again. Nice high floater to the back row. Ball's in the net for Bedford. That's an air and that, that equates to an Admiral King point. 5-1 Lady Admirals. Blair again from the service line. Noble, Thompson, and Britbeck across the front. Noble goes up for the block, gets a piece of it, but off the arms of Tierra Thompson in the back. So that'll give Bedford a point. 5-2 Lady Admirals, Bedford serving. Bedford's Libero comes out. In comes Natasha Rember, back in the game. The Libero, for those of you who are who don't know volleyball as well. She's wearing a different colored uniform for each team. So Alyssa Montgomery donning the blue uniform is the libero for Admiral King. And she can enter the game as long as it's not during a live ball. She can enter in and out of the back row at, at will. Britvik on the serve, and that's an ace. That makes lucky seven for King, 7-2. Lady Admiral's up. Admirals rotated, and that puts Asia Chisholm in the front row. Chisholm, Thompson, and Noble across the front. Bedford struggling with the receive tonight. Montgomery gets it up right to the setter. Perfect set, goes to the outside. Chisholm's blocked. Noble sends it back, though. Good defensive play by Noble. Ball's up on the net. Oh, hits the ceiling on our side, so that can't happen. And go back to Bedford's side, so it will be side out Admiral King. I'm sorry, point Admiral King. 8-2 Lady Admirals. Ball's in the net. Ironically, if the ball hits the net and goes over to the opposite side, it is a legal serve. So in that case, the ball hit the tape and came back on the same side. So serves no good. Negative stat. In the game for Bedford is number 10, Janae Pritchett, and she will serve. Chisholm. Montgomery and Britbeck on defense for King. Blair attempts to dump that bad pass over but is not successful. That'll give Bedford another point. Four will serve eight. King on defense. Chisholm up over the net. Looked like somebody on the Bedford side was in the net but the down official doesn't catch that. Neither does the up official so Point goes to Bedford as they, they're creeping back into the, to the set. Five serving eight. Ball is in the tape and negative. So we'll rotate on the King side. Out comes Montgomery. In comes Jasmine Myrick. Noble on the serve. She goes deep. Ball tight on the net. Bedford can't get it back. Point Lady Admirals. 10 serves five. Noble short this time to left front. Ball's tight on the net. Thompson sends it back. Attack from Bedford, but dug out of the back by Britbeck. Noble with a valiant effort, and Chisholm sends the nice free ball to the back row. Bedford on the attack from strong side. Ball is ruled out of play. Side out Admiral King, or point Admiral King. 11 serving five, Noble again. Bedford goes right to the setter and to the outside. Noble gets a hand on it. Chisholm brings it back center court. Good move. Blair sends the deep set. Admiral King really just needs to get up and hit the ball hard. Good save from Myra. Good athletic ability. Ball's off the ceiling, and Bedford can't quite get that ricochet back up in the air. Ball back in Noble's hands. She'll serve again. 12 serving five. Game is to tw game or set is to 25. Ball's up, Thompson attacks, off the arms of the back row for Bedford. They dig though. Ball's back center court on the King side. Blair's going to the outside. Little timing issue from Tierra Thompson. That'll give Bedford a point. Six will serve 12, King on defense. Apparently King doesn't mind playing defense as they chose the defensive position after the coin toss. 
ball ricochets off the ceiling and Admiral King keeps it alive. That's good reaction time from Jake Blair. Ball is on the line. Good line shot from Bedford. That makes 12-7 Lady Admirals. Admirals up by five in set one. Serving for Bedford is number 12, Lisa Penn, with a nice serve right on the 10-foot line. Little tip from the middle hitter on Bedford's side. Weak side attack from Bedford dug by Montgomery. Blair not quite able to get that pass back up to the net or to her intended hitter. Eight serves 12. Admiral's up by four there on defense. Jay Blair in the setting position. Good serve from Penn for Bedford. That makes it nine serving 12. Chisholm, Bradford, Montgomery, and Thompson on defense for King. Ball right to the Libero, not a bad place to go for, for Admiral King, if you're Admiral King. The Libero showing some athletic ability, small but mighty, gets that one over. Bedford struggles and will score off that. No, must have been a negative set or four hits. I'm not sure, but regardless, it's 12 serving 10. Admiral King only up by two now. Bedford's creeping back in slowly. Attack from Thompson, and she's ruled in the net, which is a violation, equaling a point for Bedford. One point span here, 11 serves 12. See how tough the Lady Admirals are. Pass right to the setter. We're going outside to Myrick. She swings, but timing's off, and she's in the net. That'll tie it up. We've got a timeout on the Lady Admiral side. Not a bad call by Coach Lynn Rossitano as she brings the troops in and attempts to settle them down. Bedford hyped as they're creeping back in. 12-12, the game is to 25, or the set is to 25. Um, we're, as I said, we're playing the best of five. If we go to a fifth set, that game is, or set is to only 15 points. That makes for a long night, and we're hoping the Lady Admirals sweep this one in three. So we'll see if this timeout does anything for Admiral King. The Bearcats back on the court, and here come our Lady Admirals. Britbeck, Montgomery, and Thompson. Chisholm up for the short serve, all on defense. Thompson right to the setter. Timeout must have worked. Here we go to the back row to the Libro. She swings and scores. That's an Alyssa Montgomery kill. Jerry Blair, the senior setter, will come out. This is a usual substitution for Admiral King. In the game is Katie Pirda. And bad swing from Bedford makes an Admiral King point. 14 serving 12. Tierra Thompson, otherwise known as TT to her friends. She'll give the ace serve. Admiral King 15, Bedford 12. Good serve from Thompson. Ball set right back to the top and attacked by Myrick. Great swing from Myrick. It doesn't score. Ball's alive. And Bedford with the miss swing. Point Admiral King. T.R. Thompson serving as a co-captain this year. That's the ace serve. Ball hit the floor before it hit Bedford's number 16's arms. That's Marche Johnson. Bedford on defense. Ball, ooh, that one might, might have been out. Might have been a line shot, not sure. Bedford chooses to play, as does Alyssa Montgomery and that doesn't work out well for King. 17-13, Lady Admirals. Bedford serving. Brianna Gaines serving for Bedford. Katie Perda, right to the setter. We're going to Myrick in the middle again and a little bit under it, so 
No, ball scores. It must have been off the hands of Bedford as the up official signals. A touch. Asia Chisholm's out. No, Asia Chisholm's in. Ashley Neely takes his seat on the bench. Neely, Montgomery, and Thompson on defense for King. Looked like a little miscommunication. Point Bedford. 14 will serve 18. Serving for Bedford, number nine, Pauline Grogan. She'll go right le to left back. Thompson digs that one out of the net. Right back to Myrick. She's floating under it a little, bowl, so, little bit, so the ball floats out of bounds as well. Bedford gains a point. 15 will serve 18. Ball right to the Libero. Set comes off Thompson's hands. Over to Perda. Nope, that's Britvec. I'm sorry. Bedford sends one back, and that is ruled out of play. Point Admiral King. Chisholm goes to the setter. We're going to the middle to Dieter Noble. She swings. Ball's alive on the Bedford side, but ruled out of play. Point Admiral King. 20 will serve 15. Ball went under the bleachers there, and <laughs> Asia went to hunt it down. Jasmine Myrick serves. And that'll be Point Bedford. Sixteen serving twenty. The short serve, and Admiral King struggles with that short serve, making it twenty seventeen. Admiral King. Pruda Montgomery Chisholm, Britvic for the the short pass. They're all on defense. Chisholm to Thompson, and that one's hit a little bit too far out. Usually when the ball sails deep out of bounds like that, it's because the hitter is underneath the ball. When you're swinging at it, you want to be behind the ball. Behind the ball, your body should be behind the ball and your hand should be on top of it. Over to Noble, she gets up for that one. And communication error from Bedford will make an Admiral King point. 21 serving 18. We have some substitutions, Jade Blair's back in. Katie Perdo will take a seat. Katie usually plays the front line for Jaden as she sets in the back. Tip from Bedford off Tira Thompson's hands. But we have a violation on the Bedford side as, as number 12, Lisa Penn is in the net. Can't be in that net. Blair sends the floater center court. Ball tipped out but played by Chisholm. Ball was out of play, probably shouldn't have played it, but not her responsibility to call. Her teammates should be surrounding her, telling her whether that ball is in play or out of play. It's hard to tell where those lines are when you're looking up. Your peripheral vision can't see those painted lines on the court. So Bedford will serve. 19 serves 22 with the jump serve deep to the back row to Thompson. Blair's going to Thompson on the outside. She swings hard and scores. Tira Thompson with a nice strong kill from from the strong side. Asia Chisholm's out and Ashley Neely's in. Anna Britbeck serving for King. Ball in the net. Little bit too short. Some unnecessary errors keeping Bedford in the game. King still up by three, 23-20. Set one. 
Number 10, Janae Pritchett for Bedford serves another one in the net. Tit for tat. <laughs> we do one and Bedford does another. So on the rotation, that'll send Deidre Noble behind the service line. Our libero, Alyssa Montgomery, comes out. Noble goes deep. Ball up on the net. Tip from Bedford. And the up and down official both call Bedford in the net on net violation. That'll make it game. That's 25-20. Admiral King takes set one. We're going to take a break as the teams exchange benches and sides, and we'll be back right after these messages. General Johnny Wilson Middle School Adventures in Interactive Simulation Programming Magnet combines a rigorous academic curriculum with the fun and the excitement of learning about real-time interactive simulation. During year one of the program, students will gain technical skills using Macintosh computers while analyzing video games and their characteristics. They will develop a design proposal that describes a simulation that they would like to create. In year two, students will focus on basic programming skills while creating three basic types of video games using pieces of code provided by our technical partner, DigiPen Institute of Technology. In year three of the program, students will create video games with DigiPen's Project Fun Editor. This exciting magnet school is unlike any middle school in the entire nation. They played Shaw uh, about a week ago and defeated Shaw, so they're 1-0 in league play on the uh, Erie side. Bedford comes in with no wins on the um, Erie side as well, so this should make for an interesting night. Um, Admiral King took the first set 25-20, so we're, the teams are taking the court and we're getting ready for set two. Looks like Coach Rossitano is going with our usual starters as Bedford checks their lineups and the officials do the same. We've got a lot of exciting volleyball for you this 2009 season. We'll be at Southview quite a few times back here at Admiral King as well, and we'll be bringing you some middle school games. Our look's a little different. You'll notice the, the look is it's coming across on TV is different. We have students assisting from the interactive multimedia class. They, we've got cameras down on the court for up close video. Terry Trout from the that class is here assisting the students or leading them, I should say. Admiral King serves this match or this set. Jay Blair gets a, a nice save and Admiral King will score on that. I don't think Bedford thought King was going to be able to send that one back. That puts King up 1-0. We're playing the best of five. In between each set, the team switched benches and sides of the court as well until the fifth set. King digs. Blair goes to the middle to Noble, and wow, Deidre Noble puts it right down on that 10-foot line. Beautiful. That was textbook set, textbook kill. Admiral King 2-0. Teacher Noble shows her athletic ability there. She's got quite a wingspan, so when she reaches up and gets on top of the ball, it's, it's pretty impressive. Shoulders and all are above the net. This is Alyssa Montgomery in the blue jersey serving for King. Bedford handles nicely. Tip from the outside. Admiral King with another nice save. They send it back. Thompson to Noble again. And Noble finds the whole center court. Two nice kills from Deidre and two nice assists this game. 3-0 Admiral King. Montgomery from service. Ball tight for Bedford. They dump, but it's out of play. Point Lady Admirals. Four serves zip. Britvik going to strong side for King. Noble in the middle, and Blair will play the weak side. Free ball sent from Bedford. Center shot, and it'll score. Admiral King having some placement communication errors, so looks like they're getting it together as Coach Rosatano gets up and directs them. 
Thompson's going to go to the back row. Another communication arrow, but they get it over. Blair's hands not quite together enough. Ball off the hands, overhead of the back row, and that scores. Admiral King point, 6-1. No, I'm sorry, 5-1, five, 5 serving 1. Blair rotates to the back. And negative set from Bedford makes Admiral King up now by 5, 6-1. We've got a timeout on the, la on the Lady Bearcat side. So the teams will come huddle over with their coaches. 6-1, set two. It's really exciting to see Coach Rosatano coaching as she was a former player of mine. Basketball, volleyball, and track. Quite the athlete. And I'm sure she'll prove to be quite the coach as well. Lynn, a product of Lorraine City Schools, from Admiral King, actually. Jade Blair serving for King. She goes deep to the back line. Bedford brings it up to the front line. Outside hit, not strong, handled readily by King, and we've got a nice swing, but we've got a violation on the Bedford side. Point Lady Admirals. Admiral's taking this one nicely. 7-1, certainly not over yet. Britt Vick Noble and Thompson on the front line. Montgomery Chisholm and Blair in the back, Blair setting. Deep serve, Bedford chooses to play it, and Noble gets up, timing's off. A little frustrated with herself, but <laughs> certainly showed her athletic ability there. Nevertheless, that makes a point for Bedford. Two will serve seven. Admiral King back on defense. Jump serve goes deep to Montgomery. Noble goes to the outside. Ball almost played, <laughs> sort of played. That's an Anna Britvek kill. And that makes Admiral King eight, Bedford two. Britvek goes back behind the service line. She will serve. Nice serve from her. Good deep row shot back from Bedford. To the outside to Neely. Neely swings, doesn't score, but it's a good swing. Bedford sends it back. Noble up, but up too early. Free ball from King. Bedford sets center. Noble up and she'll block kill. No, she does get a block. Doesn't score. Blair sets a little off the net there for Neely. Needs to get a little bit closer. And ball passed into the net on the Bedford side makes an Admiral King point. Nine will serve two. Britvek again. Ball goes deep. Britvek with a nice, solid, consistent serve. Point Lady Admirals. Ten serves two. King playing a 6-2 offense, while Bedford looks like they might be running a 5-1. Off the arms of Bedford. 11-2 Lady Admirals. Britvik to the back. Free ball from Bedford. Neely calls. Blair to Thompson with the back set. Thompson swings. Ball's off the ceiling on the Bedford side. Free ball sent over. Neely gets up. Uh, she's in the net. Got a net violation on Ashley Neely. That'll end that run for Anna Britvek. Bedford will get a few subs in and rotate and send number 10, Janae Pritchett, back to the end line. Pritchett had, had a nice consistent serve in the first set. King on defense. Three man receive. We've got an, a, an illegal alignment and overlap. 
You notice the up official, as she waves her hands in a circle, that shows an overlap. And the down official attempts to correct it. You'll see the front line looks like they're all scrunched together. Nobles right front, Thompson left front, Jade Blair in the middle. As, as long as they're to the right and they're to the left, they can be as close together as they want. They just can't pass each other. Jasmine Myrick will come back in. Montgomery takes a seat. Noble will serve from the far left corner. A little conversation going on on the court. The libero for Admiral King entered the game between the 10-foot line and the net, and that is illegal. She can only enter behind the 10-foot line when she enters. She can exit from there, but she can only enter behind that line. So I think that is going to make a Bedford point. The sides are going to a timeout. The teams are going to a timeout, so we'll see what happens when we come back. can overlap, not only can you overlap the person to the left of you and to the right of you, but you can also overlap those in the back row. Well, Admiral King doesn't lose the serve, so must have been a warning, I'm not sure, but Noble will serve. Nice line, nice 10 foot shot from Noble. Back row attack from Bedford. <laughs> right to Noble, she can't get to it. She comes out, Libero's back in. Noble definitely a front row specialist, and Montgomery definitely a specialist in the back row, so that's a good substitution. Bedford serves, and they serve short. King quickly gets the serve back. Katie Perta comes back in. She replaces Jade Blair. Thompson on the serve. Bedford sends it right back, and Ashley Neely says, take that. <laughs> and she'll score. It's all wood for Ashley Neely. 14 will serve five. Titi will serve for King. She goes center back. Ball up on the net. Myrick jumps up, but no, not necessary. If you notice, when that happens, when the ball's short on one side, the defending team will jump up and act as if they're going to block it, because it creates an illusion that the ball is over the net. Sometimes it's difficult to tell which side of the net the ball is going to fall on, depending on your position in seeing the ball. Myrick, with a nice, easy tap, finds a hole and scores. King really coming alive in the hitting department here. Didn't have much activity in that department in the first set, but they, they're finding it here in set two. 16 serves five off Tierra Thompson swing. Montgomery to Thompson. Thompson to the middle is Myrick. Myrick swings. Bedford will pass that right into the net and that'll make an Admiral King point. 17 serving five. Bedford goes with the free ball. Thompson punches one over. Here goes Thompson again to Neely. Neely gets up, she'll swing. Bedford finds it, gets it up. Did they get the free ball over? They do. Thompson, Montgomery sends it back up to the, free, to the front row. Neely with a nice swing. That's a very hard attack when the ball's coming from behind you. You notice the setter's brought up to the net, so she sets in front of her hitters. It's good timing from Ashley Neely. Nice long volley here. Nice weak side swing from Admiral King. Both teams keeping it alive. Somebody just needs to get up and hit this ball hard. We're gonna go off the back line and Admiral King is gonna take that long volley. Real confidence builder for Admiral King. 18 will serve five. Seven points away from set two for the Lady Admirals. Bedford negative set. Neely gets up and swings again. Back row swing from Bedford way deep. Point Lady Admirals. 
We got another timeout on the Bedford side and the teams will come over. Coach Marin from Bedford hoping to regroup her girls as they're down 14. 19-5 Lady Admirals. And they'll take the floor first. Britvik, Perda, Myrick, Neely, Thompson, and Montgomery. For Admiral King. Thompson serving. Admiral King ready to go quickly. Bedford back on the court. Thompson sends it. Passes right at the top, and Myrick gets a piece of that one. It's a nice kill from Jasmine. She gives her team 20. Tierra Thompson arm, and that's the ace serve from Tierra Thompson. Both captains on the, the floor for Admiral King, Alyssa Montgomery and Tierra Thompson. And maybe I jinxed her. She serves that one in the net. Not a bad effort from Tierra, though. So we go point Bedford, balls on the Bedford side for the serve. King will drop back on defense in a four-man receive. A cup in the back, short man up. Good job from the Libero Montgomery. Good effort from Admiral King. Admiral King has seven seniors. Probably their strength, according to head coach Rossitano, is their experience. Whereas Bedford has one lone senior. Very young team. Seven will serve 21. Montgomery with a nice pass to Thompson. I, that's out of play. Little floating hit from Perda goes out of play. Point Bedford, eight serving 21. Thompson gets that one up nicely, good reaction. Matt Myrick sends it back. Back row attack from Bedford. Thompson to Myrick, Myrick's blocked at the net, but she digs her, she digs the block. Ball's alive, Bedford in the net. Ball right in the tape. Point Admiral King, 22 will serve eight as the Lady Admirals do their usual substitutions. Neely comes out, Chisholm in, Chisholm will serve. Britvek, Perda, and Myrick on the front line for the Lady Admirals. Bedford with the free ball deep. Montgomery to Thompson. We got a fake on the kill, but a free ball coming over, readily handled by Bedford. Outside kill right in the tape. Admiral King point. Chisholm will step back to serve again. Britfeck strong side, Perta weak side, Myrick in the middle. Rolling hit, it looks like it's out and it's ruled out by the line judge and the up official. Chisholm back to serve once again. 24 serving eight, this will be set point here for Admiral King. Nice serve from Chisholm. Ball kept alive by Bedford. And the ball is down and in. This will still be game point for Admiral King. Used to be back in the day, back when, when I played, that was a long time ago. Back in the olden days, as my own kids would say. <laughs> it mattered which team served. You had to serve in order to score, and not the case anymore. This is rally scoring. Doesn't matter which team serves, whoever puts it down gets the point. Nice save and a little tip set. Over the net, that'll end the set as Lynn Zente crosses her arms over her chest to signify the end of set two. Admiral King up two over Bedford. The teams will go to their benches. 
and they're going to switch sides, and we're going to take a break. We'll be back at the Shot Palace with more volleyball action right after these messages. Washington Elementary Math Through Music Magnet offers students the opportunity to explore math through the world of music. The Math Lab offers small group hands-on math and music activities in a child-centered learning environment. Math specialists and homeroom teachers collaborate to provide differentiated instruction in order to meet all students' needs. Students in grades one through five attend Piano Lab, which enables students to learn keyboard skills. Now this new innovative lab offers the Piano Kids software program. Kindergarten students also learn basic piano skills in small groups. Students in fourth and fifth grade have the opportunity to join band or orchestra. Having the opportunity to work with many different artists in residence, students are provided with many interactive math and music activities. Welcome back to Admiral King. I hope you enjoyed that segment on our Magnet School, Washington Elementary School here in Lorraine. Quite an impressive program they run there. Come check it out. And we're checking out volleyball right now. We're getting ready to start set three, the best of five. Admiral King takes the first set and the second set. If they take set three here, we're done for the night. If not, it'll go to set four because we are playing the best of five. So our up and down officials are on the court. They're checking the lineups. Chisholm, Montgomery, and Blair across the back line. Noble, Thompson, and Perta across the front. No, that's not Perta. That's number four. That's Anna Britvik. Bedford has served this game, this set. A little sloppy to start, but Admiral King will take a point. One will serve zero. Ball's on the Lady Admiral's side. And Jade Blair, the starting setter, will serve. She'll probably come out after she's finished serving for her usual substitution. Blocked by Noble. Ball ruled out. Bedford point. Noble gets up nice and high and gets both hands on that, but she's got to direct that ball down and in play on the Bedford side. Not enough to just deflect it back. It's got to deflect back into the playable area. Playable area includes the lines around the court. Chisholm digs that out. Montgomery sends it back. Bedford gets it just inside the antenna. Nope, it's outside the antenna, and we have a net violation. Admiral King points. And a Britbeck is going to serve for the Lady Admirals. Nice, consistent player, plays all around. Nice, consistent outside hitter as well. Montgomery with a nice stick arm there. Blair sends that free ball back. Good reaction time from the Lady Admirals. To the back row, almost, for Bedford. Blair's going to the outside to Neely. She gets up, but floating under it, and therefore the ball sails deep out of bounds. We've got a tie score, 2-2. In the game for Bedford, Erin Littleton. She replaces number nine, Pauline Grogan. Janae Pritchett for Bedford will serve. King back on defense, four man receive, one short, three deep in a cup. Nice pass to the setter. Noble gets up and attacks it. Nice shot from Deidre Noble. That was a quick set. A little volleyball terminology for you. Ball is not set real high. If it's quick, it's a nice quick low set. It forces the hitter, or requires that the hitter does a very quick approach. If you saw, Deidre moved very quickly on attacking that ball. It's the only way to get the timing right to put that ball down. Bedford will sell that one out of bounds. That allows Noble to serve again. Can 
communication, communication, communication for Bedford. Bedford Air equals Admiral King Point. Noble will serve again. Five serves two. Noble sends it deep. King back on defense. Britvek to Blair. Blair to the outside to Neely. She gets up. That time she is not under it, and she'll put that down. Another kill, kill for Ashley Neely. Noble likes to serve from the far left. Nice floater center court. Blair digs. Set up from Noble. Noble goes right to the middle. There's a tip from Jade Blair. She finds the hole in the defense. Center court. And that is, statistically, that's a kill for Jade Blair. The setter can have a kill. Bedford sends the free ball. Myrick gets up. Woo, does she get up? Boom. That's all Jasmine Myrick. Eight serving two. Timeout Bedford. Admiral King on a roll, really hitting here. Doing a nice job. Really picking it up as the evening goes on. We're in set three, and if this continues, this will be the last set of the evening. As Admiral King takes set one and set two. Looking for their second Lake Erie League win. Admiral King won their side of the conference last year. So they're looking to be repeat champs. With seven seniors and all the hard work they've been putting in, I'm sure that's gonna happen. We hope anyway. Noble back to serve again. Eight serves two, balls deep. Bedford with another free ball. Blair goes to Neely again. Neely up and swings. Off the arms of the Bedford back row makes Admiral King point. Nine will serve two. In the net from Noble. Service air. She'll come out and take a seat. Montgomery back in. Britvek, Montgomery, and Thompson on defense. Neely on defense as, as well for the short serve. Blair setting. Myrick rounds out the lineup from the outside, and there goes Myrick with a nice tip, but she's in the net. Net violation, not legal. Ball goes back to the Bedford side. Lisa Penn for Bedford will serve. Four serving nine. Bedford saying, I'm, we're not ready to go home yet. There goes Myrick, deep shot. issue there was ball was contacted at her ear. Myrick needs to contact the ball above her head, above her ear at least, to be able to put it down, to get a downward motion on the ball. That serves in the net. That'll bring Katie Perta back in, Jade Blair will come out, and Tierra Thompson will serve. Thompson with a nice down serve. Not sure if that was blocked at the net or that was ruled four hits. I took my eyes off the up official, but nevertheless, it's a Bedford point. Six is serving 10. Admiral King leads by four in set three. Katie Perda punches that one over from the strong side. She gives her team a point and herself a stat in the kill department. Makes it 11 to 6. Asia Chisholm back in. Bird is going to the weak side. Britvik's on the strong side. And Myrick's in the middle. Ball sent over, and Myrick said, Huh, I'm taking that one. Here comes another one. Pass. Set from Thompson over to Myrick. She'll swing hard. Ball is touched. Ball is touched. Admiral King point. That ball was out of bounds, but it was deflected off of the hands of Bedford on the front line, which is not considered one of the three, three touches on the ball. You can block and still have three more plays on the ball. That's an ace serve. Admiral King point. Asia Chisholm serving again. 13 will serve six. 
Asia senior defensive specialist, and that's a nice floating serve from Asia. Both teams kind of under each other's feet there, but Bedford will send that out of bounds and back to Asia to serve again. 14 will serve six. The game is to 25, unless we go five sets. And that last set would be to 15. I wonder what the overall GPA is of the Lady Admiral side. They are stocked with some really good students. Be interesting to find out. Nice shot from Perta, cross court. Bedford can't handle it. Ball goes back on the Admiral side. Chisholm will serve once again. 15 serving six. Bedford on defense. Five man receive. Tough one for him. Asia Chisholm doing a nice job from the service line. 16 serving six. Good floater. Balls tighten up. Myra gets up and swings. Ball never cleared the net, though. There goes Britt Vex. She'll put one down. Another kill for Admiral King. 17 serving six. Bedford just not knowing what quite to do with Admiral King's swing tonight. And not quite knowing what to do with Asia Chisholm serve. Got a substitution on the Bedford side. In the game is number 34, Taylor Ferguson. She'll replace number 31, Natalie Wapple. Asia Chisholm serving again. Right to the same spot. Per to, to Thompson, over to Britvek, the rolling hit. Almost a slider if you will. Alyssa Montgomery digs that nicely by turning around. She sends the corner shot. Ball's up on the net. What is Bedford gonna do? Dug by Chisholm. Montgomery attacks and finds the hole opposite, on the opposite side of the floor. Good vision from Alyssa Montgomery. 19-6, Admiral King up 13 at this point. Six points away from finishing it up. Bedford on defense. Chisholm center court again. Balls up on the net. Myrick receives. Perta back to Myrick, and Myrick puts down another one. Jasmine Myrick all about business tonight. Doesn't even crack a smile on that one. Chisholm serves again. 20 serves six, ball deep. Free ball from Bedford. Montgomery to Thompson. Thompson over to Perta. Point. Admiral King 21, Bedford six. It's coming to a close. Not sure how many points Asia has from back here or what her streak is. Serving, but pretty good. Ball far out of play. Gives Asia another chance to serve. 22 will serve six. Good floater. Ball in the tape. Admiral King point. It, Lady Admirals on their way to being 2-0 and in the Lake Erie League and 4-4 four and four overall. Chisholm right to that same spot. Very effective. Myra gets up, but she, her hand's in the net. That'll switch service over to Bedford's side as they sub. In the game is Natasha Rembert and number nine, Pauline Grogan. King on defense. Oh. 
little punch from Thompson sent right back over. Thompson's gonna go to the middle of Myrick. She's blocked. That's the block kill from Bedford's number 16, Marche Johnson. Even got a little reaction from the Admiral King fans there. <laughs> Grogan will serve for Bedford. King on defense. Floater off the net, fair ball. Good reaction from Thompson. Montgomery sends the deep set, sends the set to the 10 foot line and it scores. And that is also a kill. She'll come out, Noble back in on the front line. Myrick serving. That'll push Britvik to the strong side. Noble in the middle. Noble gets up and is it down? No, it's out of play. We've got game point here. Could have finished that one on a beautiful kill. Bedford will serve King on defense. Here's their chance to put it away. Wapple for Bedford serving. Floater to the 10 foot line. Sent right back and down from Bedford. Marche Johnson, wow, it's two in a row for her. Admiral King needing to show a little mental toughness here. 24-10, pass that kill, that's all it takes. Bedford with the back row attack. Noble up, but doesn't get anything. Here goes Noble with the swing, and shh, is it down? We have a touch on the front line. That makes a Deidre Noble kill, and that'll do it. Third set, 25-10. We'll be back to Admiral King to wrap up this game. I'm going down to the floor, and I'll see you in a few minutes after these messages. I recycle and refurbish old computers to help preserve our environment. I got involved. I boosted tourism in my farm community by painting 55 barn quilts. I got involved. I enjoy gardening and love delivering a fresh supply of produce and flowers to a local shelter. I got involved. Young volunteers have a winning spirit that we think is worth celebrating. Middle and high school students, ask your school principal about applying for a Prudential Spirit of Community Award. Volunteer. I'm Bob Costas and I've been broadcasting sports for a long time. Much of what I do is ad-libbed, but still one of the most important aspects of my job is being able to write. Narrations, essays, commentaries, it's essential to express those thoughts and concepts clearly and concisely. Good writing is essential for almost any career. And with today's advanced technology, the National Commission on Writing reports that the need to write well has never been more important. Writing is everybody's business. Welcome back to WLCS TV 20. We're at Admiral King High School where we're wrapping up exciting volleyball action. The Lady Admirals of Admiral King just defeated the Lady Bearcats of Bedford in three sets. 25-20, 25-6, and 25-10. As the Lady Admirals got warmed up over the night, their hitting really looks superior in games two and three. Led by Ashley Neely, Jasmine Myrick, and Deidre Noble on the front line. Admiral King improves their overall record to four and four, and their league record is two and zero. Admiral King looks to face two more LEL opponents next week. We'll be back to bring you more volleyball action from Southview High School and Admiral King High School. I'm Cheryl Bansick signing off for WLCS TV 20 along with Joe Bach, Terry Trout, our student helpers, Chloe DeAngelis, Jessica Barnett, and Anthony Lewis. Thanks for joining us and have a great evening. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools TV 20 WLCS. To purchase a high quality copy of the program you just viewed, please call Lorraine City Schools Television at 282-8400.